Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna put the wire through this arm that uh, goes up and goes up to the socket on the lamp and the pole chain. So what we gotta do is take this arm apart, pull these wires out, and put our new wire through. So what I do is use our special bent fork tool to go in these three holes on this arm. Apple sells a special tool to take these apart for probably $35. That was several years ago when I looked that up, but a bent fork works really good. I include a bent fork in all the DIY kits, so if you don't want to sacrifice one of your own forks, you don't have to. And take out the first one, flip it over, just a little pressure with your thumb on the back side, put that fork in there, and once you got it cracked loose, then you can pretty much spin it the rest of the way out with your thumb. There we go. Set those things to the side. And you can see here, I've got two nails coming through a board. And the reason I did that is that holds this in place really nice. So you can work on it without it moving around a whole lot. Flathead screwdriver or chisel or something will remove that top piece. And right off the bat, I like to take these black bushings and put them back in here where they go. And with a little dollop of hot glue right here, and right here, and just for fun, maybe one right in here too. So, if you can see that, right on the edge there, right on the edge there, and right down in there, you don't want to get it on this flat part going around the edge, because that's where this part rubs, right there. So, tuck it back in there, tuck it back in there. The only thing that hot glue is going to do is hold this black piece in place, so when you put it back together, it doesn't fall out on you it will be upside down when you go to stick it back into place. So, got those on, set that up here, just let it dry out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get these wires out of here. So I like to snip them at the top, snip them at the bottom, get that metal junk out of here. And then if you pull the small one first, it makes a little more room for the big ones to slide right out. Small wire first, and then grab any of the big ones. And they'll just come right out of there. So you can see this spring inside of here. What it's doing is pulling tension on these two cam lobes. And these nails I have here help hold that in place so they don't pop out of the bottom side of this and suck each other together. But you probably don't have nails like that. And if you happen to have one pop apart on you like that, then this piece falls out. It'll probably fall out the other side too, but this stays attached to there so it can't come apart any more than that and it's sometimes a little bit of a hassle to get back together but i'm going to show you a little trick first thing we want to do is take this piece back in here and same way we're gonna glue it just a little dollop And on the other side. 
other side. I don't know who designed this contraption for these G4s, but why aren't they something? Okay, got that glued. So, I'm gonna flip this over and you can see that one, we got that one in. That doesn't line up with that hole, it's off. And that one just fell out again, so we're gonna get him into place right there. And then we're gonna push all the way up on that. And when we push on that, it's gonna push that bottom lobe so it lines up with the hole. Let me pop that out again, I'm trying to do this and record at the same time. So over here, I'm just gonna push that all the way up and then some, as far as it'll go. And you can feel, hang on to it down here and watch that push, push it as far as it goes. And then it'll click into place. So we've got them both into place now. And we can make sure that that black plastic piece is in place. And it looks like it is. It might have moved a little bit. I'm going to pop that back out. Just make sure that that black piece stays in place. My glue kind of came undone. I'm gonna go ahead and re-glue that. Like I said, it's kind of tricky here sometimes. Should have just did it the first time and called it good, but I wanna show you guys what's going on in here. Could have put a little more glue on it maybe. Could have gave it more time to set up too, but I'm kind of hurrying to make a quick video backfired on me. And just for fun, I better do this bottom one also. Okay. I like the hot glue because it cures quick and if you mess it up you just peel it off and redo it so once again line that up push this top lobe all the way click it into place there that's a lot better Now, one part that I like to do that's not necessary is if you got a Dremel with a grinding tip on it, I like to grind the inside of this angled neck because we're going to put some JB Weld inside of there later. And if you grind it, it just gives a little more grit for that JB Weld to bond to. You can use some sandpaper, a file, anything like that just to kind of rough it up inside of here. <laughs> That's all it needs. Now let's go ahead and put our wire through. Sometimes I put a little kink in the end of this wire, just like that, because it's got to get around this lobe inside of here, so through the top. Just kind of wiggle it through there until it finds its way. And then with 
with a needle nose or a toothpick or anything. The toothpick usually works a little bit better. You can get inside of there. You can just pull that wire up through this hole. I would usually put it back on my nails right now, but I'll do this without it just because likely you guys aren't going to have a board with two nails sticking out of it. I'll just try not to stab myself on them. Poke it down through there. Our wire's in. I like to put a little kink in it right here. Just helps it go around that right there. Now this is going to go back on top. Doesn't matter. This, if you flip it around, there's a small hole and a big hole. It can only go on one way. So we got small hole, small pin, big hole, big pin. And put it on here. Get one side on. The other side. Same way. Just fold that thing and it'll push. Those right in place. You can see we're not quite together yet here. Usually a big smack gets it perfect. So then we take the pins, line that washer up on the pin, and I like to go up from the bottom so the washer stays centered. Again with this, so the washer stays centered. Get it started on there. And once it's started, you can spin it with your thumb. And once you get it snug with your thumb, you can come through with our special fork and tighten it up all the way. A little pressure on the back with this finger to keep it from spinning. And as soon as it starts spinning with the fork, that's plenty tight. Same way, center that washer. Right through there. And on with the blast one. So that's about the most involved, annoying part of building the eye lamps, I think. This isn't my favorite step, just because this arm can sometimes be kind of time consuming and a hassle with all the pieces inside of it and stuff. But there we go. We're ready to install the socket.